Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing this naturally pretty makeup tutorial for you guys. I took a poll on Instagram and I called it my everyday makeup, but I didn't want people to be like, oh my God, you do this every day. I don't do it every day. Definitely not. But whenever I want to look like myself, but better, this is the makeup that I do. And it's my favorite. It's very comfortable. It's pretty quick. And it just looks like me, but cute. Wish I woke up looking like this. All right, guys, before we get into the tutorial, as always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to share and subscribe and leave me a comment down below. What are your favorite products to use for like everyday makeup? Like quick, easy, pretty, lightweight, comfortable, those kinds of things. I'm getting into nude sticks, okay? I am into like natural makeup lately. All right, guys, so if you wanna see how I got this look, keep watching. All right, guys, so I'm already primed. I used the e.l.f. Beauty Shield. I have used this a few times in my videos. This is pretty much what I always use during the day because it's SPF 50. And it kind of has like a pore refining effect and it keeps my skin like relatively matte. And I also have a little bit of peach color corrector underneath my eyes. So I'm gonna start off with the skin. For that, I'm going to be using the Becca Skin Love. I have two shades here that I think I'm gonna mix. I have Driftwood as well as Noisette. Set? I don't know what's a French word. This is part of Becca's new foray into skincare. So there's a lot of really great ingredients in it. It's kind of like glowy, but it's a very natural finish. I'm just gonna dot a little bit on. I'm going for like super natural coverage. You guys can probably tell my skin has been very clear lately. It depends on your skin, but I would suggest keeping it very lightweight. And I'm just gonna be blending this out with my Sigma F80. So I'm really just using this to kind of like even out my skin's overall color. I don't want a lot of coverage because I want this to be very comfortable. And then if there are any areas that you need, you can go in and spot conceal. You can use any foundation you like. If you are more on the oily side, I would recommend the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. This has pretty much been my like summer foundation, but now LA started to cool down a little bit, <laughs> just a little bit. So I've been loving the Becca Skin Love because it is a little bit more glowy, but it's not gonna make you look like wet. For concealer, so I'm gonna use the Too Faced Born This Way in the shade Almond. And I'm basically just gonna use this to brighten up underneath my eyes. I'm gonna use the smallest amount. So I'm just going to blend this underneath my eyes. Sorry about the background noise. There's like dudes in the alley doing something. So I always like to take it up the sides of my nose just because it kind of like helps to narrow my nose a little bit. Now, you know I like to layer my concealer. You don't have to do this, especially if you're going for like very little amount of makeup. I'm gonna do my brows first. I always like to do this just in case I go like too crazy with my brow product and I want to clean it up with concealer. But when I do like naturally pretty makeup, I don't clean it up with concealer. I kind of like it to be a little more bushy. So for my brows, I'm going to be using the Signature Brow. This is by Kat Von D and this is in the shade Light Brown. So now I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of that concealer before I set. Um, and to set, I've been really loving this powder by Too Faced. I used this in my last tutorial. This is the Banana Cream. It's Banana Setting Powder. I like to focus this directly underneath my eyes and then just kind of like a little bit alongside the, oh, alongside my nose. So that's pretty much the only place that I like to brighten up. It's just kind of like a habit because I have pretty dark circles around my eyes. Um, so like I said, you don't have to do it as much as I'm doing it. Uh, I have been obsessed with this Nude Sticks pen pencil. This is the Magnetic Matte Eye Color in the shade Taupe. Basically, it's just like a cream eyeshadow, I guess, or stick eyeshadow. Um, and this works best when you don't have anything on your eyes, like no primer, nothing. So what I'm gonna be doing is just placing this in the area that I wanna define, like my crease to start. Um, and this sets pretty quick. Uh, I'm using my BH number no. seven brush, this little guy right here to blend that out. Sometimes I just use my finger, but a synthetic brush works well. But like I said, it, it sets pretty quick. So you wanna like start blending it out immediately. It's long wearing and it's comfortable. It doesn't look like heavy eyeshadow at all. That's it. Like I won't put anything else on my lids. For my lower lash line, I like to keep it right there. You guys know I usually like smoke out my lower lash line like crazy, but with this, I'm just defining like right on the outer part. You can make these products a little bit more intense. Like you can definitely like create a very, I don't wanna say intense because it's not intense, but a very wearable, but deep smoky eye with this. Like you can go in if you want to, but that's not what I use it for. Okay, as far as like contouring and or bronzing, I use, I usually use the Nude Sticks bl Tinted Blur Stick in number six. However, this is my second one. I love the color, I love the formula. I think it's fantastic. Uh, I can use it like 
I'm sorry. I'm pretty much all the time. I received this. This is my second one that I have received from Sephora, totally broken. Like it just fell in instantly. Like I opened up the cap and it just flew out. So that's a downside. I feel like they don't travel very well. So when I ordered it, it showed up just like basically like that. So I'm kind of like, oh, I have a love hate relationship with it just because this is my second one that is broken and they're not cheap. I just, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so that's typically what I would bronze and or contour with. I'm gonna be using a powder instead, but I wanna go in with all of my creams. Well, I already set my under eyes, but I wanna go in with the rest of my creams before I go in with my powder bronzer. So for blush, another Nude Sticks product, if I can find it, the Nudies All Over Face Color in the shade Bareback. So it's another stick. I would say it's pretty neutral. I mean, I guess it's kind of cool toned. I really like it. So I'm gonna kind of just place this right there on my cheeks, which like might look kind of intense at first. Once you blend it out, you can't really see it. And I'm gonna take my same foundation brush and blend it out and up. And you can see I didn't do any spot concealing. I definitely have like some spots that I could conceal if I wanted to, but I want this to look really natural. Kind of wish I had a peachier color, but personally I think it's pretty and just like very natural looking. For bronzer, I'm going to be using this one from BH Cosmetics. I'm obsessed with this. This is the Brilliance Bronzer in the shade Golden Gal. It's just like perfect. I use this when I'm fair. I use it when I have a tan. It's the perfect bronzer. I think it's like the perfect amount of warmth. And I'm gonna be going in with my Morphe M527 brush. All right, now if you're going out and you wanna add like a little bit more contour, you can go in with a little bit more like just in here or depending on how much junk food I've had that week, I like to kind of like intensify my jawline. I've been using this one from Dior. These are freaking amazing. I'm gonna use this today to contour my nose and just add like a little bit more definition. So this is the Dior Universal Contour Palette. And what I like to do is just take that same bronzer brush and just kind of like, I'm gonna dip into this shade right here and just focus it right like on the tip of the bristles. And then I'm gonna tap it off, add like the tiniest bit of definition right there. So you definitely don't need to do this, but if you just want like a little bit more definition, you can. For my highlight, I'm gonna be using another Becca Skin Love product. This is the Glow Glaze Stick. I think I've used this already, I don't know. It's kind of a neutral, but it has like a little bit of a pink shift. It doesn't really look that way on the skin. The best way to apply this, in my opinion, is to dab it on with your fingers. Otherwise, it can remove some coverage. So what I like to do is just kind of like rub it on my fingers like this, and then just dab it where I would highlight. And I'm pressing really lightly, because again, I don't wanna like remove my foundation. Bring it up above my brow. So I'm just kind of creating like a nice sheen right in this area. It's a bomb, but it's not very heavy. So it gives your skin like a really beautiful, healthy glow without feeling like wet or heavy, especially if you are like more on the oily side. All right, so now I'm gonna use a smaller brush and I'm just gonna pick that up on that little brush and use that for some detail underneath my brows, as well as on the cupid's bow. Right here on the bridge of the nose. Actually, I like to do that with my finger, what am I doing? Oh, in her corner, obviously. Okay, so now before I go in with any like mascara or brow gel or anything like that, I like to set my face. So today I'm going to be using, where did it go? I can't find it. You can use any setting spray. Oh, here it is. This is the new Lancome Fix It and Forget It. Actually, I don't know if it's new or not, but I just got it. So it's an up to 24 hour makeup setting spray. I always like to use long lasting things. I don't know if I like this mister so much because it kind of creates that. I don't know. I'm still trying this situation. Now I'm gonna go in with my Tartiste brow gel. This is the best brow gel in the entire world, hands down, by far. I will never use anything else. Okay, lashes are a really big deal for this. I have become a massive fan of waterproof mascara after hearing Katie talk about it. She just mentioned that waterproof mascara holds a curl better. And so I was like, I've never really used waterproof mascara. I think I'm gonna try it. And so I went through a bunch of different waterproof mascaras and hands down the best one I have ever used in my entire life. I need to clean this desk so that I can find things. The Monsieur Big Lancome Waterproof Mascara. Amazing, so incredible. It is the best waterproof mascara I've ever used. It doesn't transfer, it holds the curl all day and like for like probably three days if you didn't wash your face. It's incredible, I know it's Lancome. So there are of course other water waterproof mascaras that you should try before spending this much, but I have to say I haven't used one that is this good. So the key is to really curl your lashes. So I do like my pulsing motions, so just really quickly and lightly. You don't need to like rip your eyelashes out and then go straight in with the mascara. It's like basically a wall of lashes. <laughs> 
Like they are so curled right now. All right, and for my bottom lashes, I like to just focus it like right on the outer part. And I definitely just got it all over my lower lash line, but it's fine because I'm gonna clean it up. And then my trick for like crazy, mega natural looking lashes is I will layer over top of this my Hourglass Caution Mascara, which it, again, I know is not super cheap. But the thing about it is that it has like fibers in it, but it's the best fiber mascara I've ever used. And it is the blackest mascara I've ever used. So I'll just do like a light layer right over if you go in with like way too much, then it can make it like a little bit intense. And the other great thing about this is that for a regular mascara, like it's not waterproof, it does not transfer. Like it does not transfer. I'm just gonna wait for that stuff to dry before I wipe it off. Oh, oh, I'm just reckless over here. Why are you guys so far away? Get together, you're friends. Look how open my eyes look though. So the last step is lips. Sometimes I'll just go in with a little bit of nude lip liner and then a lip balm. I feel like that's what I do most often. But if I'm going like out to dinner or out for drinks or anything like that, then I will use sort of like a lip stain. I don't even know how to describe it, whatever. I'm gonna do my lip liner first. So my favorite lip liner is NYX Nude Beige. It's just like the perfect one. I like a more brown lip liner. On like more natural days, I'll like overline my lips and then kind of like blend it out with my finger and then go in and like fill in any areas that need it. I don't know why I'm talking while I'm doing my lip liner. <laughs> If I seem totally mad, I feel like I've been talking really fast. I know you guys always say that I talk really fast in my videos. I feel like I've been talking faster. I had so much coffee today. <laughs> now, what I like to go in with, okay, it's again, it ain't cheap, but it's so fantastic. Again, by Lancome, this is the Labsolu Lip Lacquer. It's basically like a glossy lip stain. Uh, it does kind of smell like baby wipes. <laughs> so if you're sensitive to smells, keep that in mind, but it's just like so fantastic. It lasts forever and I just love the way it looks and feels, it's amazing. I have a few different colors. I'm gonna use 202. So it's got some pigment. I don't know if you guys can see, it just kind of like melts into your lips. Mm. Literally just melts into your lips and feels creamy. And I love that combo so much. It's like the perfect everyday lip for me. All right guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video. I mean, I love this look so much. It's literally my go-to. I pretty much wear this anytime I wanna look like myself, but better. It's a nice natural enhancement without being like way too much and it's pretty quick. Like if some of this stuff is just too much for you, if you don't wanna bronze and contour or if you don't want to go in with color corrector under your eyes and concealer or any of those things, feel free to leave them out. If you just wanna bronze, you don't wanna do blush or you don't wanna highlight or whatever, just do what's comfortable for you. Or if you're just like a Glamazon and you have to wear falsies, cause trust me, I get it, I've gone through that. Go ahead and throw on some natural looking falsies. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave me, what? All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Look how uneven my smile is.